Welcome to the GBO Just event team brief. My name is Wayne Drinkwater and I am the event director at GBO Just. And today we're just going to cover some of the key points that you may need to know when you're joining the event team. Thank you for offering your time to volunteer at GB Ultras event. This video gives you information on the roles and responsibilities you could be taking on throughout the course of the event as a volunteer. You'll also be sent this information via email together with the volunteer code of conduct. And if you have any questions, please feel free to email the team at events at gbultras.com. As our events take place over a range of durations, it is likely that you'll be assigned multiple roles during the course of the event, and we'll be traveling to different locations throughout. We'll publish a volunteer plan ahead of the race, but please be aware that for operational reasons, this may mean that we have to reassign volunteer duties ahead of the race or even at short notice while the event is actually taking place. Prior to registration, the event team will be assisting the race director and GBO Trust team in the setting up of the start and finish location. This will include helping on tasks such as erecting the start and finish gantry, creation of the start and finish area, positioning barriers, taping off any dedicated areas, attaching race banners to the finish area barriers, setting up tables for registration, setting up event shelters, the event marquee and the event stage, setting up flags and setting up any road notifications and runners crossing signs. Race registration for the events is split either the evening before the race from 5.30pm till 9pm or on race day morning from 4.15am till 5.30am. There are several roles throughout registration. They are as follows, competitor check-in, welcoming runners to the race, taking their name and ensuring they have completed the event waiver. Kit check. Each race has its own different mandatory kit list required to suit the duration, the terrain, the time of the year of the event. When assigned this role, it will be your responsibility to check that runners have each of the required items. Should you have any issues with competitors not having the correct kit, please notify one of the race directors. Not every race requires a kit check, so we will only be checking if there is a severe weather warning for the event. After kit check, runners will then move on to bib number collection and merchandise. You'll be responsible for taking payments in cash or via mobile payment system for GB Ultras items purchased at registration. Any pre-orders that have been reserved for collection will be available for the runner to collect as well. Collection of the GB Race Tracker. Only on race day morning will we be giving out the race trackers to competitors and advise them to put it on the outside of their pack with line of sight with the sky at all times. It works off GPS signal, so it will then update the live tracking map in showing where each competitor is up to. On race day morning, all trackers will be switched on. Once registration is completed at 5.45am, please make your way to the start line to cheer the competitors on their way. The only exception is for volunteers who are assigned a traffic marshalling or checkpoint position who need to set off to travel to their checkpoint or position a bit sooner. GB Ultra's checkpoints, there are several roles at the checkpoint. Every checkpoint will have a checkpoint leader. They are usually people who have volunteered at previous events and know how to run a checkpoint. The remaining roles will be agreed with the checkpoint lead and the checkpoint team. Please make sure that you are assigned a role that you are comfortable with. And if you need help, please ask. We're here to help and explain how different roles work within the team. The GB Ultra's checkpoint leader. The checkpoint leader is responsible for the overall running of the checkpoint, ensuring runner information is being completed, runners are getting the help that they need, and photographs are being taken. A separate checkpoint leader brief document is provided, and also a virtual brief. One of the roles at the checkpoint is the logging in of runners as they check into the checkpoint itself. Our designated person on the event team is responsible for checking in every runner as they come into the checkpoint. As a runner approaches the checkpoint, you should make a note of their bib number and the time that they arrive. Sometimes at an early checkpoint in the race, it can be quite busy, so it requires two people, one person to shout out the bib number and another person to record the bib number and time. Ensure all participants that did not start and DNF runners did not finish runners are crossed through on a runner information page so that we are not looking for runners who are no longer in the race. Any runner who decides to DNF did not finish at your checkpoint must have their tracker removed and switched off. Make sure that the trackers are stored in a safe place so they can be returned to Race HQ. All runner DNF should be reported to the checkpoint leader who can then inform Race HQ. The next role at the checkpoint is runner checkout. This person is responsible for recording when a runner has left the checkpoint. As a runner leaves a checkpoint, you're 
record their bib number and the time that they leave. The next role at the checkpoint is that of a photographer. This person is responsible for taking photos and uploading them to social media. Ideally, GB Ultras would like a variety of photos, sometimes from out on the trail. Please capture photos of the following. The checkpoint wants it is set up and awaiting runners. Event team members helping runners. Event team photos leading male and females that are coming into the checkpoint. Remember that photographs and social media posts that you take are the outsider's eye into the event. So try and make sure that there's nothing in the background that doesn't look right. The next role on the event team at the checkpoint is runner assistance, ensuring that the runner's needs are met as best we can. So help to fill bottles with water or any of the other refreshments that we've got. Offer tea and coffee if it's an indoor checkpoint, as well as cola, juice and water. Please make sure that food is topped up and that containers are open and easily accessible for runners. Talk to the runners, ask them how their race is going, celebrate with them if it's going well. Help lift morale if it's not going to plan. You could really make a difference to somebody's race. Keep the checkpoint area tidy, store boxes and cars and under tables to prevent trip hazards. Make sure rubbish is collected in bin bags. If you see any competitors littering, please ask them not to and report any issues with Race HQ. Cooking. During the Race Across Scotland, each checkpoint will be provided with a menu of items that are available. Please ensure the freshness of the available food. Progress of the race should be monitored at the checkpoint via the GB Race Tracker tracking link or via communication with Race HQ. This will ensure that if we have a large number of runners due into your checkpoint, they can be given food quickly without causing any delay, which may compromise their race. Traffic marshals. Traffic marshals will be situated at various sections of the course at turnaround points, tricky navigational points, or at key road crossings for runner safety. Marshals are there for runner safety and to ensure the correct route is followed. If you are allocated a traffic marshal position, we will send you a location with all the necessary details, including dropping a pin along with photos of that position and a map prior to the event so you know where you will be allocated. If you are allocated a traffic marshal position for the event, please don't leave it till race day to check. Please check your location prior to the race and if you have any questions, let us know. Every traffic marshal should have a high-vis vest and where applicable, a walkie-talkie. First aid at the checkpoints. Event team members with first aid certificates will be spread amongst the various checkpoints. These should be the first points of call should runners need first aid. We also operate with first responders so they can be on hand quickly too. We have paramedics for each event and they are to be contacted should the competitor need more than basic first aid. In the event of an emergency that is a risk to life or limb, please dial 999 for the emergency services. Your checkpoint pack will state the location of your checkpoint, including coordinates, so emergency services will be able to find you. Should you be in a mountainous area and require mountain rescue, call 999, ask for the police and tell them that you need mountain rescue. As an event team, it's essential that we try and deal with any incident ourselves and we put personnel and processes in place to achieve this. Anything other than a risk to life or limb, we as an event team are your first port of call. We'll then assess on reaching a participant. I really recommend downloading an app called What Free Words. This shows your location and free words. If you quote these words to Mountain Rescue, they will be able to locate you. Please be aware that competitors are responsible for their own foot care. Competitors must use their own first aid kit to tend to basic injuries. Finish time recording. All of our events are chip time, so as soon as a runner crosses the line, it is recorded on our system. However, we always like to do a manual backup. Event team members that are assigned to finish line recording via paper backup will record the runner, the bib number and finish time, hours, minutes, seconds on a recording sheet provided. Medal and buckle presenting. Each runner receives a medal or buckle for completing their respective race. The colour of the medal or buckle depends on their finishing position of the runner. In this role, you'll be presenting the runner with their medal or buckle, usually under finishing gantry, with photographs being taken by the GB Ultras event team or our official photographer. Runner welfare. You'll be ensuring that the runners are looked after when they finish the race. Each runner will present with different needs and emotions and you'll be on hand to look after them, providing shelter, maybe a seat, water, snacks if they need it. Medical attention will also be provided by qualified first aiders or medical practitioners where required, supported by the event team. 
If a finish line is providing hot food, you'll be involved in the preparation and handing out of this to runners when they're ready. Finish line management. While we encourage family members and supporters to enjoy the success of those who are completing their race, it's essential that we make sure that the finish line area is kept clear of anyone not involved in the race. There may be times where a number of runners come through all at once. Runners may need rest or medical assistance. Any supporters crowding or blocking the finish line area will hinder any support or medical assistance needed from the GB Ultras event team. Event deconstruction. When the final finish is completed the race, event team members will be needed to assist in the dismantling of the finish area and if applicable, clearing up the village hall or venue. Event team members helping with the closing down of the event will be involved in the following. Dismantling the finish gantry, removal of any metal barriers and taped off areas, removing the race banners, dismantling event shelters, event marquees and the event stage if applicable, taking down and packing away event flags, removing any road notifications such as runners crossing signs and checking the checkpoint kits that have been returned to Race HQ. Loading all of the event's equipment into event vehicles. Please ensure that all equipment and banners are put into their hold alls in a neat and tidy manner so that we can reduce the amount of work after the vans are unloaded. GB Ultra Sweeper Tail Runner. Our events may have sweepers in a race who follow the final place competitor. A sweeper will be someone who is able to cover the distance of part or whole of the race and will keep an eye on the condition of the final place competitors. They may be one of the first people to come across somebody who's injured. A sweeper will keep a short distance behind a final place competitor, carry an emergency kit as supplied, carry their own mandatory kits as specified in the race instructions. This is to ensure their own safety during the event. Runners have to have their own mandatory kit like head torches and waterproofs, so it's the same for the sweeper. The sweeper will also remove any litter that looks to have been dropped by competitors. Remove any event markings placed along the route if required. They'll also monitor the progress of the final place competitors against the cutoff times for the checkpoint. A sweeper cannot provide assistance to a competitor unless in an emergency and should not carry on any of the competitors mandatory kit for them. During the deconstruction of the event and the finish line zone where there is particularly sometimes heavy equipment involved, there will be a safety manager who will assign roles of deconstruction and ensure that everybody's wearing a high vis and manage the safety of the deconstruction. Thanks for watching the GBOJ's event team brief. If you have any questions, feel free to email the team at events at gbotras.com. All of the information that we've provided in this video is going to be emailed over to you anyway with specific location information. So if you have any questions, it might just be within that. Thanks so much for helping at the GB Ultras event and we look forward to working with you and keeping everyone safe during the event.